Yo, I'm Bob. Into Masters of the Universe. Going to be unboxing an action figure from the Origins toy line from Mattel. This is another Snake Man. This is Snake Face. And Snake Face is voiced by Paul Dobson in Masters of the Universe 2002. Loyalty King Hiss. Um, if he looks at you with his uh, Snake Face activated, you will turn to stone. So his accessories, according to the Big Bad Toy Store box contents, are his alternate head with his uh, powers activated. He's got his shield. He's got his snake staff. And they're raised up in the package, so I can tell where they are. Now, when it comes to opening this guy, a bit nervous I'll drop stuff. Eh, should be okay, though. Now, where to start? There we go. Facing the front, Bob. Come on. There we go. I wish I could just take out his uh, action figure first and then go ahead and uh, get his accessories later. Since he's a deluxe, I'm not really wanting to drop stuff. Here's another mini comic. All right. Try to leave the rest of that in the package for now. I'm gonna drop anything. Yeah, I seem to be doing okay so far. Sorry guys for the extended unboxing there. So here is Snake Face right there in the packaging. He's got his um I think he's got his regular head attached when you open him. That is a really cool head for him. And uh, let's see. I'm going to pause this, break him out of his figure tray, and we'll have a closer look. So here is Snake Face out of his packaging. So I got him equipped with his snake scepter and his serpent shield, whatever you want to call him. I like his shield. It looks like if he threw this, it might serve as a, uh, a disc with all of the snake heads kind of chomping at enemies as it, you know, the shield flies through the air. I don't know, just kind of something I was thinking about it I got that shield out of the packaging it was something he kind of imbued with snake magic he uses it as a as a disc or a shield and eh, he probably doesn't do that but I love the idea of this thing flying through the air and just taking taking bites at enemies where it kind of chases an enemy around or something like that yeah I know it doesn't do that in the show but uh I really like that shield. A really neat weapon. I mean, the snake scepter or the snake staff, we've seen that several times by now. I don't know if they fight with these or not. Anybody know? Let me know in the comment section if they ever uh, fight with these staves or scepters. So let's remove Snake Face's weapons. Actually get to see him a little better because I think the staff and the shield are kind of blocking his, uh, his body. Just a wicked cool design for this guy. I like his face there. Um, right now, his, his snakes are kind of tame, so he's kind of got them inside of himself. He's, he's not ready to turn people to stone and reveal his uh, serpentine powers yet. really interesting looking arms for uh for snake face here they they're they're almost scaly but at the same time they they kind of remind me of a, a rocky texture probably more scales than rocks i don't know why i'm thinking rocks there for his arms rock hard biceps though i guess i don't know i'm already giving him a 10 out of 10 i like his design quite a bit 
All right, so Mattel gave us an alternate head sculpt. Because as I was reading online about the 80s version, he had a button on his back, and when you'd press it, um, the snakes would kind of pop out of his eyes. Uh, his tongue would pop out. You'd get these snakes popping out from uh, around his neck here. But we got an alternate head sculpt. I like the head sculpt, though. It's really interesting to take a look at him as he's uh, ready to turn enemies to stone. He's, he's got a really awesome uh, Clash of the Titans vibe going on, and I really like that a lot about him. Because my mom and I watched uh, the 80s movie a lot back in the early 90s on TNT's Monster Vision. For some reason, he just he really makes me think of um, Medusa from, uh, from Clash of the Titans. That was one of my favorite movies as a kid in the 90s, even though it was an 80s movie. Um, and then he's got these snakes that hinge down from his chest. He just kind of bend them down like this and, and they're part of the fun too. So he's in full petrify mode. Hope you guys aren't stoned. <laughs> Turned to stone. You should be okay. I'm okay for sure. He can't affect me. I love the head sculpt for him. And um oh 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 that is really cool. So on the back of his of his head here it looks like they've sculpted in well I guess it might be meant to look like the lever that you hit or maybe the lever was probably on his back further down I would imagine I don't know because I've never owned the original action figure but uh yeah that is that is snake face in uh terrifying serpentine mode here ready to petrify an enemy take him to the dreaded King Hiss. I love the, the snakes popping out of his eyes. And I guess the tongue is a regular tongue. I actually thought it would be a snake tongue. Like an actual snake for a tongue, but not the case. Still, pretty cool with the snakes coming out of his torso there. You just snap them up when you're, when you're done with them. They snap right back up into his uh, chest there. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'd say mm, 9.5, maybe 10 out of 10 for the action figure. Mine's a little loose in the ball joint there for the head, but I still love the way he came out. I like his gimmick. Uh, one of my favorite bits in Masters of the Universe 2002 was when he was um, practically turning all of the evil warriors, Skeletor's evil warriors, to stone there. Uh, in the Rise of the Snake Men two-parter when we got to see him in action in in a 2002 show. Not a lot of, uh, you know, well, no audio description track at all. So I just kind of went by what I heard and uh, guessed that one of them had the power to turn folks to stone. So that was a really cool scene. I wish they'd go back and add audio description to all 30, um, was it? 38, 39 episodes of the show. I think that would be easily doable. I would certainly give those tracks a listen if they did. Yeah, really cool action figure, though. And I'll hear you next time. I'll take a